And especially when you're giving, it's a good time to worship and just sealing everything. Just a whole experience. Your presence is important even in this radio thought. We'll be fooling ourselves without the presence of the Lord. We thank the Lord for up for this entire radiothon, navigating, directing, convicting, instructing for your presence. We're not done yet, you know. We have many hours to go before we close out radiothon 2021. But just less than an hour inside the gospel light show. We have guest with us. This special guest is joining us virtually. Stranger to the Gospel JFM family, a powerhouse who loves to worship, who loves to give worship and honor and service unto God. She's with us virtually. Rhoda is, is her name. Rhoda, my friend and sister, are you with us? I am. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to be here. God bless you. God bless you, my sister, uh -huh. my friend. I'm happy to have you. God bless you. Congratulations. It's been a while. I have this. Yes. Oh, well, here <laughs> she goes into that area now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good goodness of the Lord, Rhoda. It's good to rejoice. Yeah. So when someone says congratulations, it means that God has done something good. Yes, yes, yes. God has been faithful to his people. Come on, Rhoda, let's tell person that God <laughs> has been good. He has been faithful. So he has been. God yes, has been yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord for, Jesus. For that God continues to be that even in Thank our unfaithfulness, he remains. How he does it. I don't know how he does it, Rhoda. I don't know if it ever blows your mind the way God remains faithful to you. Every day, every single day. So it's 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 yeah. it's so overwhelming sometimes. To know that even when we yeah. are not faithful, he is faithful. It's a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Thank he you, is. Jesus. Because his nature, like he can't help himself. He can't help himself. Mm -mm. We could bask <laughs> about the goodness of the Lord today. We could bask in yeah. it and we could talk about it and endorse the Lord because of how faithful he chooses to be. Now, welcome to Radiothon 2021, Rhoda. Isabella, we've <laughs> had this years, but here you are another year with us. Thanks for always supporting things gospel JAFM. Thank you for having me. The honor we and the, the privilege is mine. Complete honor to you. Awesome. I want to welcome those who are in the WeStream room. You know, we, is it WeStream or Restream? We have a number. They just know when we go live. You know, so for uh -huh. you need to go on over Rhoda Isabella. She is on our facebook page right now you'll see one side over that other <laughs> side in the studio but you know happy to have the minister with us we're your 2021 and we have been stretching our faith rhoda since monday we've been stretching our faith just believing god to just move over our lives as we so obediently i don't know if you have ever been challenged by the lord you know just stretched in your faith and you wonder god are you a this? you're sure it's yes. you are because at one point it felt like this is not god telling me to do this but then when you obediently you know follow the lord you realize that whoa the lord was setting you up have you ever been in that situation i am in that situation right now so it's something that i can speak to, to. you know god has Talk been to us I've been in a season, you know, and I want to just share a bit of it while we, while we encourage the people and we're, we're so happy to be a part of this radio fan. But trust me, that stretching season can be something that we 
most times it's not something we've ever seen before. It's why it's why we're being stretched. So it's it's the moving away from the norm, from what we were previously accustomed to, into a new place, into a new season, into another leg of the journey. And that's where I'm now as it relates to ministry, as it relates to pursuing marriage, <laughs> so many different projects that the Lord has me on in this kingdom. So my life is a testimony, specifically toward ministry. You know, when you start in a particular manner and you have somewhat um, been at a place of, well, you'd call it a comfort zone, really, you know, and God is saying, no, I want more. I require more from you. To whom much is given, much is required, which is one of my favorite scriptures. And, you know, I definitely, I don't know if you want me to just roll right into um, what the Lord roll is saying right to in. me. <laughs> but I have a little theme that I prepared a few mornings ago. In the early morning, the Lord woke me up about three o'clock and he told me this. And I wanted to share it with Gospel JA, all the staff, everybody at Gospel JA, also all our listeners on Facebook and online on radio today. The theme is Eat for the Journey is Long. Eat for the Journey is Long. And the scripture I want to share from today, I just have a few verses I'd like to read, if that's okay. That's okay? That's right. All right. So we're coming yes, from... Right thank you so much. We're coming from 1 Kings chapter 19. And I'm going to just be reading from verse 1 to 8 really quickly. This is the King James Version. It says, And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and withal how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow. <laughs> about this time and when he saw that he arose and went for his life and came to Beersheba which belonged to Judah my God he came to the place of praise which belonged to Judah and left his servant there but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough. No, O Lord, take my life, for I am not better than any of my fathers. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baked on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee and the last verse that i want to settle on today it says and he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat for 40 days and nights unto horeb the mount of god when the lord spoke to me when i got up at three o'clock that morning auntie ever all I heard was eat for the journey is long. And because I've been on a path where I'm just reading the word and I previously came from this, from this 
passage of passage of scripture the lord brought it back to my remembrance and he was just encouraging me and i want to encourage our listeners this morning while the stretching is going on while we're coming to the end of 2021 we're about to go into a new season we're about to go into a new year and that journey is is a journey we've never seen before that part of the journey that leg of the journey is something that we have never lived before and so we have to eat and this food that we're eating today is the word of god this food that we're eating today is in prayer this food that we're eating today is in fasting this food that we're eating today is in is in seeking the face of the lord this food we're literally eating the word of god there's another scripture from jeremiah 15 and verse 16 that i love it says when your words came i ate them they were my joy and my heart's delight for i bear your name lord god almighty and ezekiel also could relate to this he said eat the lord said to ezekiel eat what is before you eat this scroll then go speak to the house of israel so the 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 word of god is encouraging us today as the lord stretches us into this leg of the journey as the lord continues to 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 create a way in the wilderness for us and rivers in the desert places we have to be prepared we need to go into the strength of this meat hallelujah thank you lord this meat this food you are what you eat you will become what what you have inside of you so if we have nothing inside of us we won't have any sustenance we'll become faint we won't have any strength you know so that's my encouragement this morning to the people of god that's my encouragement to gospel ja today eat for the journey is long. Hallelujah. Right, God. Eat that word. Eat and that and word. I believe that there are persons on the platform eating this word. Eat it. My God. Eat it. Too many times we ignore it. We don't want it in our dish. It, it, because mm. it doesn't look at it doesn't fit the situation. Because a lot of times and we only seek word that fits our situation. Said, I want you mm -hmm. to put down word no so you can regurgitate. My so yeah, God. Yeah, you can regurgitate because you're going to need this and it should come back up, up again. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Some of some word right now, we should be regurgitating and chewing on them again like the cold. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Some things that we have stored, we should think some of these words. And that's why it's so hard to get you to give or to sow. Because yeah. you have not been eating the word that Jesus. you should be eating. The moment an opportunity comes to to, to to sow, you'll be like, no, not you, because you have not been eating the word. Mm. Because the word mm -hmm. would tell you mm -hmm. that this is, is God. Come on. And this is what the Lord wants you to do. Yeah, there, There's going to come a time, Rhoda, where there is going to be famine in the land concerning the word. We have to yes. eat no, because the concerning that famine is yes. going to be very long too. It's going to yes, be very yes, long. Yes. We think this pandemic yes. is long. The journey is even longer. My God. And if you notice, the Lord is giving more word and more word. Even yes. this pandemic for his people to hold it because there's going to come a time when you turn mm -hmm. on your radio and there's no God FM with no, no word to sustain you. But you have yes. to remember that you got, my God, you got the word already. Jesus. Some of us are waiting on instructions when the Lord is saying, I already instructed you. Remember Remember the word like it's there last week it is still Jesus. sufficient it's still there and you can apply it and, and that is why i believe the word is always for me Rhoda. i don't know how persons go about listening to My God. the word of the lord is always for me it may not fit the situation and but it's gonna fit it soon and that's why the lord sent it my Jesus. way so every single day i get up i have those that Rhoda, you just brought a word that is so 
for today because we're close here. It's all almost the end of this year. And there's so many who are still malnourished concerning the word. There's yes, so yes. many who have been resisting it, are picky eaters. Hallelujah. There are certain persons ah. they don't listen to. There are certain persons. So they are picky eaters when it comes to the word of the Lord. And they are not really nourished as they should be. So there are certain things that pressure My them God. easily. There are certain things that discourage them easily. Ooh. And no matter how you try to encourage them, they're still discouraged. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm mm. here, not the word that you just, that it's yeah. time for us to eat because the journey is long. Eat. I think we start, start the journey already. In fact, we have started the journey that's before My us God. because the word, some of us haven't started eating. So God can't even put us on the journey yet because we're not start. Hallelujah. It's the first yeah. thing he had to do with, with, with Elijah. You must eat because what's before you is greater than what you're talking yeah. about and what you're running from. What God is mm -hmm. about to do in you is a oh way greater God. than why you decided to give up under that tree. Some of Jesus. us are laying flat on that tree right now. Some of us are laying yeah. flat on the bed, giving up on things. And God is saying, get up and eat my word. Get, get up, up and, and eat, eat this word. Grab this one. Grab this one. Mm -hmm. This one is for you because there's coming yeah. a journey that's before you. That's the word is going to be so yeah. relevant. When others and are trying to find the time. word, you are yeah, yeah. not a one not time thing. One time. No, 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 no. The angel no, came no. back again, a second time. Again. Said, eat. Eat. Oh. Wake up out of your sleep. Wake up, Zion. Yes, Wake yes. up. Wake up. Oh, eat. hallelujah. Burn the midnight it's oil. Tiny. Wake up yeah, in that yeah, morning. Yeah. Sacrifice. Eat. I say, God, now is the time to eat. Now is the time. Gospel J.A. has a work to be to be done in this earth. Gospel J.A., this radio fan is a part of the eating, you know, is a part of, of this season that, that God is God is speaking to, to you. Eat. Yes, prepare. Prepare yourself. Become Mighty nourished. God. Become strengthened. Yeah. Because the journey where God is about to take you. So, so, the people of God have to understand even this radiothon. It's not, I'm sure it's not just for the purposes of, fancy, of having a fancy radio station and just for radio station sake and just to be trending and just to be a hit station. No, it's not about that. It's because there's a purpose. There's an alignment that yeah, this, this station is, is, is in accordance to the word of God. There is a job to be done in the earth. And gospel J A is a part of that purpose. And so we need the stretching. We need to yeah. so make our pledges at this time. Because yeah. the part yeah. of the food that we are we are preparing um our, our bodies need for the future. Yeah. That's you understand? It. So my, my God, this is a blessing. This is I didn't even realize it. It's for me as well. <laughs> in on this on this um call today. Wow, wow. God is moving. So amazing. And the, the giving part of it, Rhoda. You know, like when you're on fasting, right? You're still eating. When you're on fasting, yeah. you're eating spiritually. You're still eating, and, and then you're nourishing the spiritual man so you're really still eating you're eating the word you're eating you know just the will of god and you're yeah. eating you're just being obedient so everything concerning the yes. lord you're eating in that moment and it's the same thing yeah. giving because it's giving up yourself it's giving up so it oh seems my like god. you're emptying yourself but really what you're Come doing on. when you are giving you're eating you're yeah. eating the, the woman the, the woman the widow who, who elijah met did know that she will never stop she gave come on no. she, she'll never stop eating because she gave when you give you will all mm. eating somebody she too was planning to die what would the hand to mouth lifestyle here yes she was planning to die she was, she was planning, planning to, to die, die just like elijah in this case just she like said she elijah. only had one my god she and her son just going to eat oh. it and die she was ah. willing to give the water because the water seemed easier in the moment than the cake. Jesus. Yeah. So it's in our giving. My God. Hallelujah. That we eat. 
It's in your giving that you're going to eat today. Somebody needed to hear that. It's in your giving you're going to eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, some of us, we have some, some <laughs> things holding on to, and it's mm -mm. fogging our ability to digest what God is giving us. And God Jesus. is saying, give that up. Give that up. Give that up. Give that yeah. up. If you give that up, then you will be able to digest that which I'm giving you. You'll mm, be, you will be able on. to go down smoother and nourish you better. If yes. you give that up, you won't have to worry about your eating ability because God. God is going to clear some passages that have been yes. concerning you. Hallelujah. You're going to find yourself healthier. You're going to find yourself wealthy and fear. Hallelujah. Because you Thank are you, giving Lord. up some things. You, you, you know, I, I keep holding on to this word that I got uh, on Friday. That when you let go of that seed from your hand, will return to your life, Rhoda. And it will return to Come your on. destiny. Some of us were holding on to some things that belong to the Lord. Jesus. And God is saying, let it go. It will come back to you. But when God Jesus. takes it, it changes form. So it's going to come back different. Hey, Sometimes it comes back double. Thank you, Sometimes Lord. it comes back in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. So we're encouraging persons right now, wherever you are, locally and internationally, as you yes. sow into Gospel JAFM, it's our Expansion Drive 2021. And we're expanding our reach across the island. We want to reach more persons. We're not yet island-wide. And we want to reach more persons. We want to impact more lives. Yeah. More persons need to eat. More persons need to eat. More persons My God. need to eat. And the more you, you give, you will open a door for someone else to eat. Ooh. The more you Jesus. give, you open a door for someone else. I wrote that you came with this word and it was so divine. My God. Like, hallelujah. My God. Somebody else eat somebody else needs to eat you Jesus. have been eating someone else needs to eat the word and as such the gospel jfm is expanding its reach because we're going to dish out some food hallelujah yes. some spiritual food for god's people to eat because the journey ahead of us is way on hallelujah yes. I'd love to uh, contribute to this expansion once you sow into this i guarantee you that you're gonna you're gonna find yourself reaping Hallelujah. You're going to find yourself reaping. This seed is going to turn your life. So for those who are yes. overseas, you know that if you have a Zella account, it's give at gospelja.com. If you have a Zella account, it's give at gospelja.com. If you have a cash app account, it's gospelja. If you don't have either of those, hear what? Go on our website at www.gospelja.com and click to contribute to our expansion thank you once Jesus. you click it you scroll through. if you have a local account bank of nova scotia is our account uh, is, is the bank that we're working with the account number is eight zero two two nine one that's eight zero two two nine one branches halfway tree the account name is casey broadcasting company limited and the code branch is six zero five somebody must eat you should be eating yeah. it's eat eating time get up shake yourself shake off the distress yeah. eat the word eat the word it will sustain you it will satisfy you, you because Lord. the journey of us ahead of us is great what a blessing it's now 1 30 and this is a good time we should be seeing the lines you can call us as well at 876 Five four six eight one two seven five four six eight one two nine zero eight one nine nine three. That's nine zero nine nine three seven five four four two three two. Call us. We have an international line as well. Three zero five four four eight five two zero. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. So that seed. So that seed. So that someone else can eat. So that bread was what Elijah the widow, in my words, so that bread, so I can eat and you can eat because once you give up something, eat. Oh God, the word is there and it's time for us to be sustained you, by it. What a blessing today. Rhoda, I couldn't have you go without you blessing us vocally. I could, you have been delivered <laughs> like a preacher. Now is the time for us to hear you. You better find a song to bless us because it's time for altar call. It's time for the altar call, Rhoda. <laughs> Go ahead and bless us with something. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me just let me just sing the song that we started with. It's what's been blessing me and it's what's been on my heart. 
Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord. holy spirit you are welcome here. come flood this place and fill the atmosphere your glory God is born. Our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence. We want to be overcome by your presence, your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank presence, you, Lord. Lord, is what we Your presence. Your presence, Lord. Your presence. We, we will Thank make a you, fool Jesus. out of ourselves if the presence of the Lord is not with us. Or we'll just be carrying on you, if the presence of the Lord is not with us. Thank you, but Lord. when he comes, when the presence of the Lord is with us, there is power. There is power. There is power. Thank you so very much, Rhoda Isabella, for being a blessing to Gospel JFM this afternoon. Wow. Uh, the that honor word, is mine. That word, Thank you that so word, much. That word, honey, that yeah. word. Uh, what, what the Lord woke you up for a reason. Uh, and I, I know there are so much more to come from that word. That's just one yeah. angle that you've touched. He's going to give you a different revelation on that word because there's so much Hallelujah. more to choose from it, to eat from it. Oh, yeah, there's so much yeah. to eat from it. There's so much to eat yes. from it. God bless yes. you and your ministry God continually. Bless you, my Thank sister. you so very much. I love you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Love you too. Hallelujah. Gospel JFM, it is. Gospel JFM, it is. We give God thanks for what He's doing in this season. He has opened an opportunity for His people to be blessed. Have you started eating the Word of God? The journey ahead of you is long, and you must be sustained, you must be nourished. Juliet, Juliet, and your name is? Juliet, and 